G B T Q. That stands for lesbian, gay, bi, trans, queer. It also can be represented in a rainbow flag called the pride flag. If you live in San Francisco or the Castro, you know what I'm talking about. This episode of Everything Pride, we're going to examine the first color on the pride flag, red, which also stands or represents the sexual orientation known as lesbian. Um, I'm Oz. This is Everything Pride. Now, um, lesbian is a tricky term because orientation known as lesbian, um, is where a female, um, where women are attracted to other women. Now, some people, um, um, refer to themselves as gay, not lesbian. It's the same thing. They're both totally fine. And when it comes to presentation, there, there are are sometimes stere uh, stereotypical lesbian or gay ways of talking or dressing. That is not, like, you don't have to do that to, like, women. And there's, like, some, and if you're a woman and you want, like, or are attracted to other women, you don't have to fit into those stereotypes. Um, um, but... Some people like to look a little more masculine. Um, or like talk a certain way. Um, and that's like presentation. That's more into presentation, which we'll talk about a little later in this series. Um, but when it... And okay, so in my case, I was originally a born male, but I am trans, so I identify as a girl or a female character, <laughs> character, um, and I don't find men very attractive, um, so I am lesbian, I, um, identify as lesbian in sexual orientation or in that one of the difficult things about being a kid and like having unique um unique feelings um is most people at a young age don't start thinking about it until like later um so it's hard to find people or kids which is much better to be like relatable to um if you watch this and you're unique in some way where it goes to gender identity presentation sexual orientation i hope i can be relatable um so yeah I really hope I can be relatable, because I have crazy ca crew members. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of frame. Okay. Get out of frame. Um, anyway, um, and I hope I can, I hope I, I love... So being in, so one of the bad things about living anywhere is some people can be just homophobic jerk faces, okay? And like some people don't come out until they're very old and that's terrible um, because of where they live and like if you live somewhere where people aren't very accepting. I am lucky to live in San Francisco.
Cole lives in Minneapolis. Like, how is that? I mean, there's no one... There's no, there's no one at my school who has any of those feelings. I mean, as, as far as I know, no one's, like, told anyone. Exactly. Like, no one's come out in places, or in more, like, places where it's more fitting to be straight in people's minds. Um, living near or living in California or in San Francisco is great because I there's some pe- I I know people who are gay um and like who come out in school and like it's great and I also know people who don't know and I also feel like some people are afraid to um, think about it. Um, And then there are people who are just obnoxious and make fun of people for it. Like, fourth grade was tough in that way. I had people confronting me. And, like, this doesn't make any, like, and saying, like, you don't make any sense or stuff and stuff like that. One tip, word of advice. Tell someone. I, I don't, I just don't, I, so I don't tell people when I'm getting made fun of. Like, I, in second grade, there's this really bad situation where I couldn't, I didn't feel safe with anybody or safe with the teachers. Like, I didn't feel like they could do anything. Um, so, um, tell someone, tell someone like your school counselor, if they, it's really, it's really nice if someone has given lessons at your school about it, go talk to them. You know, if you know that they, they're accepting, go talk to them about it. Um, and when, so... There's this one incident where I identify as agender, um, which we're going to go over gender identities also later in this series, too. But we're going to go over some, like, trans um, trans and, uh, yeah, tr- we're probably going to go over trans, um, trans, trans, um, I think it's also... I think we should go over what... I think we should also talk about straight people and cisgender people. Um, That's very important to um, to know to know what they might be feeling. I was once very straight. (laughs) I was I was once very, very straight. Like, not in, like, the homophobic way, but, like, in the Like the, I used to have short hair. That's, I used to have short hair. I used to be cute and cuddly and, you know. Um, I was like a teddy bear. Like, like Cole is now. Like he's a teddy bear. I used to be a teddy bear. (laughs) Okay. Um, (laughs) wait. Um, it's, it's kind of both. Uh, oh, okay, great. Um, oh, I just love this. This is so great. Yeah, um, straight people. No, I'm not. I'm just giving them <laughs> teddy bear names. Um, okay, um, so there's this one incident where I was, he- so we had a media class. I was, and it was like the end of the day. I was going back to pack my backpack. Then this guy, I'm not going to say names because I do not, I, I hate it when, I want to give them so much shame, but at the same time, I don't really. They know, they know who they are. They know, you know who you are. Um, and I also know that they're not subscribed. Yeah, they're not subscribed. We just hit 50 
<laughs> we just hit 50 subs. Um, so it's better now. It's better than ever to subscribe. Maybe you'll be the 60th subscriber. Or the 100th. Or the 100th subscriber. Them prime numbers. Them prime... What? <laughs> what? That? That's not... Okay. Okay, on to the story. I go to school. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I was heading back to media class, and then this guy came up, and I was wearing a they-them pin because I must I was identifying as they them at the time so basically he was like hey what's up them they and he's like hey them they hey them they what's up them they and it was like it's they them okay read the pin dude like like get read the pin and my and identifying as they them pronouns doesn't mean my name it's they them, okay? Like, I'm kind of crazy. Um, but I thought he was being really, like, homophobic and just really annoying and stupid and mean. Some people are just like that, and some people are just arrogant and, like, just arrogant and... He's also, like, the huge troublemaker in the class. I don't know what to say. Should I, like, make fun of you for being straight? Like, 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 because that's how, like, you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't make fun of being sh- you for being straight because that's the societal expects, accept, or expect... <sighs> It's the default, so I I don't feel like I m- should make fun of you. I don't make fun of you anyway. I just hate you and mutter very insulting things about you all the time. Moving on from that. On from that we're about to play what happened in that, and I feel like you're going to be so, so, so just like, what the is wrong with yeah like really it's bad okay play the skit What's up, dumb they? Oh, them they. <laughs> it's actually they them. It's going to read the order on the pin. Order smarter. Smarter, what a funny word. It's not a word. I know. Anyway, me and the boys are just going to go play some basketball and some football. So even though you barely are a boy and basically aren't, <laughs> uh, why don't you join us? You know, it'll be a cup of tea, you know, since I'm on there. You you won't do ha- you won't have to do anything with your weak arms. So why don't we uh, walk together? One, have fun with your football, because I'm not coming. Two, on the way, since you're clearly going to take time to walk there. Why don't you look up in the di- dictionary what the word they and then mean. And in the pronoun section in the word, maybe you could say pronoun instead of like a name for me, which it isn't. My name is Oz, which I think you would know because you've been in my class or I've been in your grade for my entire life. You know, to be honest, I never really got dictionaries. What are they for again? Um, to learn about words. Of course, since you can't learn anything and aren't capable, um, you wouldn't know. Okay, well, see you then. I suppose we don't need you anyway. Yeah, 
guys, bye. Again, I'm on the team and I'm awesome. So yeah, that's what that's what it's like. Uh huh. Um, if you're straight and watching this, I I really hope you like this, and I really hope it spoke to you and it made you start thinking about it. Because once you start thinking about it, and here's the thing, to to this is the one thing that you really have to know. Once you start thinking about it, you don't have to change. If you don't feel like it's right for you, do not change. Okay, this is just for the for the people who might feel like they're something's not right with their life this is me speaking to you and if there's something that you feel is wrong with like how you feel in some way it might not be sexual orientation it might be presentation might be gender identity we'll get to those for those people who feel like they're they're just feel something that is If you feel like something's wrong with, and you're, you feel like you're attracted, because attraction is weird as crap. It is so weird. It's not meant to be like black and white. And so if you feel like you're attracted to someone, or someone, and, and another point, if you're attracted to someone and that sparks you to feel something, that's that's great that means you know you know you feel that way i'm speaking to you this is everything pride episode one on lesbian or gay whatever you identify it still makes sense if you identify as bi that is fine too i will see you the next time ladies and gentlemen this is everything pride